Uh, okay, I'm back. Um, I'm going to give this another attempt. I think I know what's wrong with my previous videos. So uh, hopefully this one doesn't come out uh, black screen again. So um, I'm going to talk about um, Think Back. Um, think Back and Think or Swim uh, lets you go back to um, a date in history. I think you can go back, uh, geez, I don't know, 10 years. I don't know, pretty far farther than I need to go back. Uh, but you can go back and pull up historical uh, pricing um, for that day. Uh, you only get one price, so I'm guessing it's um, closing price, but uh, that's good enough. And uh, you can um, back trade uh, and see what would have happened if you had gotten in certain times, gotten out at certain times, uh, whatever you want to do. So um, I think a good example um, would be to go back to right about the middle of this chart around here somewhere. Uh, this is Tesla. Um, uh, this is the middle of this chart is about uh, end of March, right right there. End of March, I was in uh, San Jose with a bunch of other uh, view traders uh, for gold training with Dinger. And uh, several times Dinger uh, mentioned Tesla. He was gung-ho on Tesla. So um, let's see what would have happened if we'd listened to him. Uh, hopefully you did. Um, but I'm pretty sure that most of you probably didn't get in back then. So let's see what just would have happened. <clears throat> so to get to Think Back, um, we're going to go to uh, the Analyze tab. And then you'll see it's right there at the bottom, Think Back. Or uh, click on Analyze, and it's to the right. So, I think I, there we go, I clicked on it. Okay, so let me just clear out all this uh, stuff in there. That was yesterday's attempt. So, uh, think back. It kind of looks like the um, trade window. There's nothing in there yet. Let me just put in Tesla. So, it kind of looks like the trade, uh, the trade window. Here's um, the option chain here. Um, this center section is the uh, where your back trades would show up and the bottom section um, shows um, profit and loss graphed against um, the uh, the underlying stock so I'm going to just get rid of all these other studies on there I don't know why uh, I took them out yesterday but there we go okay so um, let's see what would have happened so um, you'll see there's three sections again, uh, the trade option chain, uh, the back trades, and the chart. So the first section here is where you actually put in um, your trade. Now you're not actually putting in like a virtual trade. It's kind of like um, you're doing on the risk profile. Um, you're just going to pick your stock or your option, and it's just going to show in there. There is no fill or anything like that. So let's, uh, here's the date. So we'll click on the uh, date button, go back to last week in March, uh, March 25th. Uh, let's just pick March 26th because Dinger started talking on the 25th, and by the 26th, you're like, okay, I get it. So here we go. March 26th. Uh, stock price at that time was 37.86. So let's just say we went ahead and bought some. Um, we are really gung-ho on this stock. We're just going to buy it. So I right-click here, buy, and it shows right up in our uh, back trade window. Um, now, to see what would have happened if we had held on to it, uh, we can go down here again to this back trade window and just start clicking on the up arrow, and that will advance the date. And you can watch how the profit and loss uh, advances. Uh, starts going up pretty quick, up and down a little bit. Um, that's kind of slow. You can just click again on here and go to today. Uh, wow, eleven thousand dollars. So, um, one hundred shares of um, Tesla stock would cost you uh, thirty-seven hundred and eighty-six dollars. So, and this is the actual profit. So, let's just calculate some. Uh, some uh, rate of return there. So 
11014 divided by 3786. Again, as um, it would say on the thinkorswim lessons, uh, minus transaction costs. Uh, and we get um, 2.90. That's actually 290%. Okay, that's crazy. Almost 300% return. Um, not too shabby. So, again, I'll, I didn't say again. So I'll expand this a little bit. This bottom graph will actually show you. This is um, the past year. For Tesla, you can see it was so flat the, for uh, a year. The 30 range, boom, 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 and then took right off. Uh, it just shot right off. Incredible. So I can zoom in here, and you can see the yellow line is the actual profit line. Here's this profit on this side. Uh, never even went negative. Uh, just climbed, climbed, climbed up to $11,000. So you can see how that uh, profit, it, it mirrors the stock, um, obviously, um, since it is the stock. So, okay, that was fun. So that's how um, Think Back works, very simple. Um, let's try, um, instead of buying the stock, suppose uh, we had um, bought an option instead. And we still really believed in it, but, uh, you know, we're going to try to maximize our profits here. So um, let me reduce this a little more. So we'll go out to the Jan 14s. Uh, at that time, that was probably uh, uh, eight full months, nine full months, uh, ten, a little more, more than nine. Anyway, um, so it was trading at 37.86. Um, let's say we really believed in Dinger. Let's let's go out to the 40s, huh? We're you know. It had stayed in that 30 some 30 some range for so long. Uh, we're going to be optimistic and go with the 40s, uh, not knowing <laughs> what it did. So uh, I would just uh, left click right on buy, and it populates right in the uh, back trade window. Let me um, take off uh, the stock. I would just leave. I'll leave it there, but I'll uncheck it, and that way it gets removed from my PL graph. Um, you can see currently it's still worth ten thousand uh, dollars it made almost as much as actually holding the stock um, I can go to my PL um, calendar go to today uh, again it shows the same thing ten thousand five hundred um, the reason that it performed uh, it, it returned the ex almost the exact same amount of profit um, as the um, stock is because uh, once Tesla started to climb this um, this was an out of the money option but once it started to climb it didn't take long before it was well in the money and so this uh, 44 Delta turned into a Delta of one very fast um, if I expand this I can show you um, so you can see uh, even the $20 one had a delta of one, so it's um, it didn't take long before it had a, had a delta of one, meaning it's going to gain one dollar in um, option value uh, for every dollar the stock climbs. So um, it did very well. So let's calculate some uh, rate of return on that one. Um, so we take our uh, profit, this is pure profit, not just um, what we ended up with. So, uh, 10,500, oops, 10, there we go, and divide that into our TCOT, um, one single contract only costs 370. Now, if you look at this chart, uh, 370, um, it's using the mid price, um, kind of, oops, I'll hide it from you. There. Uh, this just this is the mid price. Um, I'll put in the actual full price, saying uh, we we didn't get filled until we paid the ask. So uh, I will divide that by three hundred eighty dollars. Um, Twenty-seven, and uh, if you multiply that times one hundred, that gives you the percentage. So again, twenty 
seven hundred percent. Pretty crazy. So um, for every thousand uh, dollars that you invested, um, little little less than three contracts, but uh, so for every thousand dollars you invested, twenty-seven thousand um, dollar return. Uh, uh, gain uh, so uh, pretty crazy so let's let's rub it in even more um, let's say you really really believed in Tesla back then uh, and this is probably uh, what Dinger did I don't know if he actually bought the stock but knowing him he probably went well out of the money um, so let's go to a 50 50 was well out of the money at that time um, crazy out of the money only had a delta of 21 cents. So let's say uh, Dinger bought that one, right? So we'll take off the previous one. So we're left with that one single trade right here. Um, again, you can see the profit down here um, 96.45, or click on the calendar, uh, go to today. Um, you can also pick any date in there. Uh, and it still gives you the same, uh, you know, it'll give you the return on that day. But anyway, let's go back to today. So 96, 45, a uh, little less than $10,000. You can see uh, the return uh, wasn't quite the same. This one was well out of the money, so it took a lot longer uh, before this um, reached a delta of one. But uh, it did. It did reach Delta 1. Uh, so um, 96.45, and we divide that by our TCOT, which I'm, instead of using um, this price here, I'm going to use the 160. Uh, 160. Uh, 60 times our profit, or 6,000%. So again, uh, a $1,000 investment would have netted you $60,000 um, in pure profit, minus transaction costs. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure you're just kicking yourself. That's just incredible. But that, that just shows you the, the power of this tool. Um, you, you can also go ahead and put spreads in. Um, I didn't uh, practice this, but let's just go ahead and give it a shot. Let's. Uh, um, I'm just going to hang it on the fly, so this might not work out, um, but I'm going to kind of cheat and look at the graph here. Um, so we can see this is uh, Apple. Um, Apple for, well, I don't know why it defaulted to a five-year chart. That must be what I had on my five-year chart for Apple. So um, let's go back to... Uh, this is, uh, let's call it, let's say 1st of April. Let's just pick 1st of April. I'm not going to look at the chart anymore. So 1st of April, uh, I'm that this year, yes. March, April 1st. Uh, Apple trading at 428. Um, you can see it's higher now. But suppose uh, instead of um, buying a directional, Doing directional trade or buying the stock, we decided to do a spread. Um, so let's take a look here. I'm just going to pick one, and I don't even know if it's going to work. So let's say um, we want to do a diagonal. Okay. So let's say we um, right click, buy, diagonal. Uh, and it does put the spread in there too, just like your uh, uh, the risk profile would do. Uh, so you can see, I don't even have to worry about um, my picking my finish date. I can just zoom in here on the current and see what happened with the profit for that. Uh, pretty neat tool. Um, I don't even know what happened here. Let's see. Uh, the June 430s. Um, that's not what I would buy. I uh, probably would have gone farther out. Let's try um, Jan 14s. Um, 